Hey, greetings travelers and welcome back to Traveling Guru, where every week we take an insider look at travel and tourism. This week, I've got the distinct honor of bringing the Alan Brooks from Celebrity Cruises, and I'm your host, Dennis Fouts. Let's, let's go. Well, welcome, Mr. Brooks, and I, I, I really appreciate you being here. We're at Chevy's Tex-Mex here in um, Alexandria, oh, no, Falls Church. Falls Church, yeah. And so thank you for meeting with me today, and I want to turn it over to you because you've really been discussing all the exciting things and the new things mm -hmm. that are happening with Celebrity Cruise brand, and I just want to turn it over to you real fast. Great. Well, please, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. This is fun. Uh, so there's snow on the ground outside, just to give you an idea. What are we, mid-January here? It's <laughs> bitterly cold here in uh, Northern Virginia. Uh, so what better time than to take a cruise? We've got uh, nine ships in our fleet right now, but the exciting thing about it is that we have uh, a new ship, the first new ship for celebrity cruises in a decade, believe it or not. So since 2007, Edge will be out this year in uh, nine months. Uh, it's coming out, it's really gonna revolutionize uh, not just our brand, but the industry in the ship design. First ship design in 3D. Uh, the infinite verandas are gonna give 20% more space of, of the cabin. So whether you cruise before or not, I think one of the myths we have too, that you're really in a shoebox, but even the cabins now are pretty spacious. What Edge has done is giving even more space uh, with the infinite veranda. Um, some of just the new design concepts, the architect and the designer we use for it have never done cruise ships before, so they're bringing in some really cool new innovative ideas uh, for the ship. The itineraries, uh, she'll be sailing out of the Caribbean and doing seven day Eastern and Western. So if you wanted to make it a 14 day cruise, you could do that without repeating ports. And it's actually going to be going over to Europe, uh, doing Barcelona to Rome seven days and back, but again, different ports uh, over the course of those 14 days. So uh, really cool. Uh, all of our ships now too are uh, we're changing up our itineraries. A lot of new ports of call uh, throughout Europe. Uh, we're moving uh, a lot of our, uh, our another Solstice class ship to Alaska, um, South America. We're getting a Solstice class ship, so the Eclipse is, is leaving uh, Southampton and doing that. So with the addition of the new ship, we're able to to move the fleet around quite a bit with some pretty cool uh, new itineraries. And if you're not familiar with Celebrity. Uh, the other thing we're known for is the destination. So we offer more time ashore, more overnights than any other luxury brand uh, in the industry. So it's, it's you know, for people that haven't cruised before that think that I want to spend more time in these beautiful ports, you know, they, they go to Russia for the first time or they go to Iceland for the first time, which is very popular right now. You not you get not get just one overnight where you can go off and enjoy dinner or like an extended tour. Um, you can get two nights for a lot of these ports, wow. you know, double overnight. So um, whether you cruise before or not, this is a really great uh, and a you know cool option for a vacation. Uh, seeing these beautiful place, uh, destinations and not feeling rushed, which again is another misconception of cruising is that you're you know show up and get off and run to the beach and get back to the ship and, that's right you know and you're hustle and bustle around um, we're also known for the culinary side we've got amazingly specialty restaurants um, you know the sweet experience right from when you get on your flight uh, to when you arrive to the ship that experience with with dining as well with Lumine which is our sweets only uh, dining experience uh, the butler service I mean it's and, and competitively priced. I mean, for a seven-day vacation on uh, at a hotel or a resort on land, uh, we can blow that out of the water. No pun intended. <laughs> yes, no, no pun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do really enjoy what I know of celebrity, and a lot of my clients know of celebrity is definitely the foodie. You know, the foodie. You know, and for people who may not have sailed on celebrity, but you, your sister brand of of Royal Caribbean. That, you know, if you're at the point in life where, you know, you kind of like, okay, I don't need the rock climbing. Okay, I don't need the ice skating thing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I just want a little bit, well, I want to eat a little bit better, mm -hmm. some of that fine food, and just enjoy it and cruising. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and the thing is, too, with our ships is they're not the largest in the world. Uh, they're not the smallest in the world, but they still have that intimate that's you right. know, feeling. There's smaller spots and venues on the ship. So yeah. it's not vast and you don't feel like you're being herded anywhere. Um, our ratio from crew to guests is, is higher than anywhere in the fleet as well. So you mm -hmm. really feel that, you know, they're anticipating your needs. They're not trying to be intrusive, but they're really anticipating your needs before you even know what you wanted. Um, yeah. They remember your name. You know, this is all part of cruising. Um, but the other side of it, too, we have a thing called movable feast, which I didn't mention today. 
um, is that we actually have our executive chefs on each of our ships. So we'll actually take a group of guests to a local market or a restaurant and, and really appreciate. Because we really want to, you know, the destination is a huge part of it, as much as the culinary part is for our brand, is, you know, Im immersing our guests into these experiences. So while you're sailing to, you know, a, the Mediterranean or you're heading up to Alaska, we've got destination lectures, experts in the area on board. So we'll actually have them, you know, fill the theater and give a great talk, you know, before lunch, after lunch, and while you're sailing through these beautiful islands. Um, so that's a big part of it as well. We're really getting away from, you know, having to climb a rock wall or, or like you yeah. said, ice skating, and that's great. Right. <laughs> but if you're looking to be enriched on vacation yeah. and actually feel like you've left that ship or that experience yeah. with something, you know, it's, it's not what we said or the Maya Angelou quote, you know, not what you said or did, it's how we made you feel. And with that, yeah. where for families, celebrity kicks it up a notch too, where we talk today about STEAM. So this is the science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Yeah. And just a, a few moment, minutes, can you talk about that? Real yeah, quick? so it's one of the things that um, celebrity wasn't known for, I'll be honest, with our kids program. We had a kids program, it was pretty basic. Uh, it was kind of more of a babysitting kind of thing. It was like, you know, if you brought your kids on board and you wanted to go up to dinner or see a show and, you know, it wasn't, you know, you wanted to do it alone, you're celebrating your anniversary or something. Um, now it's become just as sort of enriching as the adult experience. So a lot of our enrichment speakers will actually have a kid's a version of these, um, these talks on these beautiful ports of call in the different regions of the world that we sail. Um, the science and technology, electronics is there. Uh, we partner with Xbox, we've got drone racing, we've got the arts and crafts side, our culinary team, so our chefs come in and involve it as well. We actually have a camp out now, because uh, you know we have real grass, we're the only brand as well that has like that a half a, acre. That is a strong selling point yeah. when I tell people, like, this is a cruise line that's got growing grass yeah, and trees. Yeah. And, so, <laughs> and it's like a half acre, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so we do like, you know, croquet up there and golf putting, and people yeah. just chill out <laughs> yeah. and have wine and cheese with a jazz quartet on the yeah. lawn. While you're sailing in Alaska or one of these, you know. No, absolutely. So it's a really unique, and, and people always question, it's not really real. And I'm like, yeah, if you talk to that guy over there, yeah. it's not smiling right now. <laughs> He's the guy that takes care of it. Because, um, you know, they travel to all the different regions, so it's tough. Anyway. Yes. Um, so, yeah, the kids program is definitely part of it. We know that, you know, families as, you know, we are targeting a younger demographic that's 35 to 55. And mm -hmm. we still have, you know, retirees that come and sail with us. But people are sailing with their kids. So... Not only is it a great kids program uh, with the science and technology and everything else, we have a family programming as well. So it's not separating the, the families. It's saying, you know, you can do this, kids. It's fun for you. And depending on the itinerary, we talk about those ports of call. Um, you can do karaoke together. You can have a pool games together. We do dance classes with the cast that we have on board of, of professional dancers. Uh, musicians teach, you know, steel drum and these different really cool experiences that you wouldn't do anywhere else than on a cruise ship. So we're booking in 2018. 2019 mm -hmm. and 2020 yeah that's just how demanded your your celebrity yeah. is yeah. in 2018 the hottest thing i learned today was the galapagos mm -hmm. you know, like this is where so all those people who are like saying you know what let you know i've always thought about it but i'm not sure like i heard today is like you got to get there now yeah. because things are gonna will cost more and this is important to the insider yeah. knowledge is 2018, this is where it's going to be most cost effective because in the future, we're really looking at it costing a lot more. Yeah. So we have a new ship coming out called Flora, and she's out in about 15 months. We have three ships there currently. So the pricing is good. These ships have been repurposed from uh, inventory that was in the Galapagos before. So Celebrity bought them. We stripped them down, celebritized them, and that's our product right now. Uh, in a year and, and a couple months from now, Flora comes out. It's the first ship designed for the Galapagos Islands. It's a, it's a suites-only ship. Uh, all inclusive as well. The experience right now, whether you book today or or book for nineteen and twenty, it's an all inclusive experience. We fly you from Quito to the ship, and then everything else is taken. In. We're talking about gratuities, beverages, all your tours, uh, up to three a day you can do in these in wow. these islands. So, so you can come back tired. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it's it's one of those things. I think that whether you cruise before or not, let's say you've been to Europe and you've done that, you've done Alaska, right? And you want to take it to the next level as far as immersive experience. And I mean, these these ships are not big; they're like mega yachts, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, Flora, when she comes out, is going to be the biggest there, and she'll have only a hundred guests. So wow. it's really still an intimate experience. Um, the ship's very outward facing. We work with the Ecuadorian government and the Parks Department on designing the ship. What's the most effective and and least intrusive to the surroundings there environmentally as well. So. Um, yeah, definitely on my bucket list. And the other cool thing we didn't talk about today 
uh, with the rest of the group was the uh, expeditions you can do. Okay, so we're kind of hearing this firsthand. So yeah, <laughs> we're, I don't know why we want to bring everybody back in. Um, so what, there's two different offerings we have. You can do two nights in Quito, which is the, the capital city. Uh, then sail for seven days in the Galapagos, then two more nights in the Oh, uh, so a little, some pre-nights, some right. post-nights. Right. So, so it takes the stress out of the travel day. And it is. And, yep. and post-cruise as well, so you can yep. enjoy it. Uh, the other one, which is something that is, is definitely a bucket list for most people, is Machu Picchu. So mm -hmm. you do seven days on the ship and then six-day expedition to Machu Picchu. But so. So, okay, so that is a big demand, you know, it's yeah. going to Machu Picchu. And here you can do it and go to the Galapagos, mm -hmm. sort of make, make it a nice two-week yeah. sort of a celebration. So, um, so along with that, you know, the edge, you know, I'm really, I really am privileged with this because um, Alan knows is that, so part of being in the, my agency, one of the few selected to go out there for that inaugural mm -hmm. cruise coming out there around the Thanksgiving time period, I'm really excited because I'm going to bring those uh, pictures and that, that, that video back to, back to you, but that shouldn't stop you now because, I mean, they're, I mean, my clients are already wanting it now. So if you want it, yeah, it's for sale. Edge is now, yeah, and and I'll include the video here at the, in this segments portion. Now I'll just include it as a separate video, so you can see what the future is now, which is going to commission, you know, right yeah. out there in, uh, at the end of twenty seventeen, yeah. last quarter. It's uh, and in November, I guess, she'll be out. But I mean, yep. everything from the iconic suites, which are now, you know, you're you're one deck above where the bridge is, so where the captain's navigating the ship, you're even higher than that. Mm. And it's, panoramic views there's a villas which are two-story with plunge pools i mean these are like 1400 1900 square foot state rooms on yeah. the ship so and you know so when you say 1400 16 1900 square feet i mean your average state room is three to four hundred four, three 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 to four hundred state rooms so all those people that are on cruising on you know we just so your introductory ones like on, on carnival mm -hmm. or your small royal caribbean you know that that is 300 400 square feet mm -hmm. um disney's no different so people are taking the time to take your families on that disney it's about you know five to six hundred square feet with balcony here we're taking it times two so yeah. think about that yeah. um especially you know. for families you know if you're sailing together I mean, yeah. there's that additional space to to use and and like i said our ships go to all seven continents we have over 300 destinations in the world we have more overnight so you're truly taking advantage of you know not just these are beautiful ships the amenities the service right. the food the wine yeah. um you're really getting immersed into the into the ports of call as well it's not a hustle and bustle rush so and and then finally for so clients are asking well who who needs to go and well, my clients I, that I'm that I'm bringing out there to the new edge and the solstice, you know, solstice class, you know, look, if you're wanting to get on something new and something fabulous like the Galapagos with with that luxury cruise line, um, and and bringing that bigger product out to you, to you, um, that I would say that if you, uh, your, you know, if you have a parent or yourself that are celebrating a birthday with a zero and a five or an anniversary with a zero and a five, right? So someone's turning 60, 65, you have an anniversary mm -hmm. that is celebrating that 30th year anniversary, that 10 year anniversary. Cause like you say, you've got couples now in their, yeah. in their lower forties, maybe even their thirties. You're celebrating something big, getting that group together. I mean, again, nobody goes, nobody goes on vacation to really kind of be with themselves. That's what my clients don't, they're looking for the group. And so yeah. I would say, you know, I hope you agree with me, Alan, that the people that, that are really going to enjoy celebrity are people that are bringing those multi-generation families yeah. that are bringing the celebration to celebrity yeah. and that are saying, you know what, I have a group, whether it be family or an, or an affinity of interest, you know, that's, you and, know? And the, and the freedom of choice is what uh, cruising gets absolutely. you. You know, I mean, whether, you know, you're all going to dine together every night, whether yeah. you're going to dine separately for special occasions and right. break the group up a little bit or go on tours together or not. Mm -hmm. Those options are all there. You know, some can go to the show, some can stay in the martini bar, some can go to and, the casino. And, you know. and celebrity brings that flexibility that that maybe some of easy. the other cruise lines, uh, it's possible, but not as easy as as you bring mm -hmm. it to them as the number one luxury uh, yeah. cruise line that's for, that was voted by 2017 yeah. Travel Magazine. Yeah, and we're number one in Europe too. With I think nine years in a row now, we're number one cruise line in Europe. So again, what a privilege it is for me to yeah. interview Alan, oh, and I want to thank the Alan Brooks from Celebrity Cruise Line taking the time with me. And if you have any questions about this interview, some questions about celebrity, or if you're ready to get that group uh, or that affinity uh, group together, if you just want to head out there, please uh, shoot me the email. And of course, pay me the biggest benefit of all, which is to like, share, and comment below. Please subscribe to the channel. So thank you very much. And, <laughs> and see you on the seas. All right. Thanks uh, very much. Take care.